Rod holders might be one of the most often overlooked accessories when folks are laying out their fishing boat. And as a walleye angler, they're very, very critical as many of our techniques rely on putting the rod in a holder. Let's face it, trolling lead core or maybe even downriggers or diving planers, you're not gonna wanna hold that rod in your hand all day long. So you're gonna need a rod holder. The two types that I use most often are both made by Canon and they've got specific purposes. The first is this cradle style rod holder. It's got a lot of nice features. It's got three different positions so I can place my rod in the holder to allow for rod tip separation. It's even got a notch for a spinning reel. It's adjustable up and down so we can change the angle of our rod. And you can also add this foot long extension if you wanna get that rod holder up away from your boat. The other type of rod holder I use is the dual axis tube style holder. That's your standard aluminum tube and it moves forward and backward and pivots left and right it mounts in a track, so you have a lot of options there as well. And as you'll see from several examples I'm gonna share, there's many reasons for both holders. The cradle holder works great if I'm trolling planer boards. I wanna get those rod tips high so I can use the angle adjustment. These rods are both at a slightly different angle so they don't interfere with each other. And the three different positions allows me to put one rod tip higher than the other Again, so the planer boards do not interfere. If I'm flatline trolling or lead core trolling, I also take advantage of the three different positions for the reel in the rod holder. I can have a shorter rod further back on the inside position, my longer rod farther forward on the outside position, and that allows me to keep those rod tips even farther apart to avoid tangles. Now, why the two tube style holders in the back? For example, I get a fish on the long rod, I can take my short rod out of the holder, flip it over the boat, drop it right in the tube, and I now have created a nice landing zone for fighting a fish and getting it in the boat. When it's time to put the line back, pick it out of the tube, right over the top, and right back where it was before. Other options for rod holders, several different mounting places. I have 10 different spots in this boat where I can place a rod holder. Why would I do that? Some days I'm trolling forward, other days drifting sideways. I wanna be able to put the right rod in the right spot for all the right reasons. Use extensions when I don't wanna bend over as far. For example, bottom bouncing in the front of the boat and keeping them right on the gunnel where I have all the space. So next time you're looking at your boat and you're trying to figure out where does a rod holder go? How many I do I need? Do yourself a favor and choose a cannon.